I just wanted to take a moment to invite you to my upcoming seminar. It's completely free and it's all about real estate investing. So if you've ever kind of pondered, how will your kids get in the market or how will you afford to retire? How will you take care of your aging parent? This is a seminar for you. Um, it is very informative. I re recently had the pleasure of sitting down with the lovely gentleman, which will be featuring in this event. His name is Dion Begg. And I wanted you to take a sneak peek at it because it is very interesting to say the least. So take a look, let me know what you think, and we'll take it from there. Hi friends. I just want to take a really special moment to introduce you to Dion Begg. Hello. He is, I'll let him describe what he does because it's really unique. I've sure. not really worked with very many people like him, but he is a mortgage broker that has a rare take on business. So we're gonna take a moment to get to know him a little bit better. Dion, take it away. Sure. What is your position or your title? What do you do? Sure, so I guess my official title is that I'm a mortgage agent, which basically means I'm an interface between my clients and the lender or the bank that is going to lend them money. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, before we get there, uh, the reason behind why my clients borrow money, obviously it's to acquire property or refinance property, but we often are doing that in order to help them solve their big financial questions. There's a few of them. Mm -hmm. I know because we've done a seminar together That's and right. it was very successful. There are three questions that people want to know the most. Mm -hmm. What are they? Yeah, so what I found, I've been doing this and I've been in this industry now for 15 years mm -hmm. and almost every family has the same three big questions and they are, how do I pay off my home in 10 years or in half the time? How do I put my kids through university? And how do I build extra wealth for retirement? And so as much as I'm currently a financial plan, a mortgage broker, I used to be a financial planner. And um, they were the questions that we used to answer all the time. And what we found and what I found is that our wealthiest clients at the firm that I worked at as a, as a financial planner, uh, almost all of them had wealth in real estate and okay. had solved those questions or solved the answers to those questions through real estate. So. Knowing that, I put everything together, and as much as I said, as I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mortgage professional now, we do a lot of planning mm -hmm. in the real estate space that we know is ultimately going to help serve the clients in those other questions. Okay, mm -hmm. so I know a lot goes into it. Mm -hmm. It is not so simple as we're making it seem, but for the purpose of this video, mm -hmm. can you give me a nutshell? Sure. How would you possibly Pay off your home in 10 years. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's say uh, right now you own a home that's worth, say, $800,000. And today the mortgage on that is at, say, $400,000. Mm -hmm. So you've got a 50% loan versus the value of your home. And like most people, you might be on track to pay off that home in maybe 25 years from now. Yeah. So I would say that's a fairly decent snapshot of sort of middle Toronto type people. Yes. So, um, you know, I always like to ask people, like, do you have children? And in most cases, people do have children. And that means that they'll be paying off their houses when their children are in their 20s or 30s, yeah. right? And um, what I like to see is if we can set them up so that they can pay off their houses when their children are maybe in, in, in their teens. Yeah. And it gives them amazing choices at that point. So how do we do this? Well, we would go and see if, uh, number one, could we access equity in their home? In this case, they have quite a bit of equity. Uh, we'd only take a little portion of that. Let's just say we took 100000 of that equity mm -hmm. and we could use that as the down payment on an investment property. So a, a lot of people out there believe that they can't get another mortgage until their first mortgage is paid off. So that's not, that's not the case, but yeah. some people feel that. So for those of you listening, you feel that, but that's not the case. So you can access your equity. Now let's say we did that. We took that 100, we used it as a down payment on a property. Um, we can go and buy a property, if that's a 20% down payment, we can mm -hmm. go buy a $500,000 property. So now we have two properties. We have the property we live in plus this rental property. So welcome back. Pretty interesting concept. I hope you enjoyed what he had to say. And it's just a different way to think about the real estate market and how you can capitalize on your investment. Logically, when you think about it, if 
someone's already living in your property and paying down your mortgage. Um, one, that's a benefit. Two, you're also building equity. So this is just a diagram to show you a little bit more. Um, this is on the modest side. This is closer to actually what things are renting for nowadays. Obviously, it depends on your property type, but if you're a numbers person, you'll identify pretty heavily with this chart. So it shows you if, let's just say you're charging 2,300. After a year, you had accumulated from rent alone. This is not even equity being built. From rent alone, you are getting 27,600. After five years, you're getting 138,000. And after 15 years, and this is just of being rented, you are getting 414,000. Obviously, there might be some repairs in there. There might be some ebbs and flows. Someone moved out, someone moves in. Definitely, there's circumstances, but can you happily live with that number? I'm pretty sure. And you're still bu building equity. So if this sounds like something that interests you, which I can imagine it interests quite a few of us out there, please join me for my free event. It is on October 22nd. It's at my brokerage. You do have to register because space is really limited. Uh, there will be refreshments. Dion will be there. So if you have any questions, just reach out. I will leave the link below for where you can register for this event. But um, if you have any questions, let me know and register on the link. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.